Friday Reflection. Hey, it's Heather Chauvin, wife, mother of three boys, former social worker, breadwinner, recovering hustler, and stage four cancer survivor. I'm not a fan of that term, by the way. Beyond all of these titles and labels, I'm a human being, just like you, attempting to navigate it all while feeling good. My goal on this podcast is to show you that you can live an energized, sustainable life, both at home and in your work. It doesn't matter if you stay at home full time, if you work from home, you're a CEO, a a successful business owner, or trying to find some inspiration. On this show, I attempt to keep it real with stories, interviews, and random thoughts. This is not a business or career podcast, and it's not a parenting podcast. It's both and so much more. You will laugh. You may even cry. And you may even get a little frustrated with the truth you've been hiding from yourself. I believe all human behavior is a language, whether it's through your child's behavior your health, or a relationship. And when we learn to listen instead of react, we begin to understand what it truly means to feel alive and in control. It's time to put your big girl pants on and find your brave. Let's go. Okay, ladies, I'm back and it's 2020. So I've decided this year that we are going to do four podcasts a week. So we have our Monday interview, our Wednesday Q&A, our Friday reflection, and our weekly Sunday prep. Now, in good Heather fashion, this will all be progress, not perfection. Um, My team and I will do our best to make magic happen, and you will notice that as the year evolves, so will the podcast and the quality and um, systems and strategies and all of that stuff. We do have um, a lot of good shit coming up in 2020. And one of our biggest values or where we're focusing our energy and attention this year is getting you more involved. So coming up for the Q&A, and um, especially, yeah, especially for the Wednesday Q&A, we're going to be talking to you directly. So stay tuned for more details on how to do that. So Friday Reflection is just going to be me reflecting on my last week and kind of like my big aha moment or takeaway. And of course, every week is going to be a new adventure. Um, but this week was really interesting. So we are the first few weeks into January 2020, and coming into the beginning of the year, I knew it was going to be a busy season in January. Um, we, I was um, attending an event in Arizona where I was facilitating, so I was at a women's retreat uh, with, I was... Um, kind of there to support my friend and colleague. Her name is Heather Hubbard. You can definitely check her out. I know she has a podcast called Hustle and Flow. And it was really interesting because I loved it. I love that it wasn't my retreat. It wasn't my event. Um, And I just showed up for these women and gave, gave it my all and gave it my support. But I didn't have to be attached to you know, their outcome or how the event was structured or any of all that back end stuff or all of the the mental chatter and vulnerability of putting on your own event. Because I'm going to be doing that in February at my Alive 2020 conference or event. So I'll have my my moments. Um, but it was really, really nice just to be of service with people and not be attached to any of that stuff. And then while we're here in Arizona, um, my family and I were supposed to be um, traveling for a month But that did not happen because our dog passed away, which was a very traumatic experience uh, for us and the children. And we all just agreed that we were going to go home early. So we are packing up and leaving. And we were supposed to be traveling for about a month, but that is not going to happen. 
Hey, I'm interrupting today's podcast to remind you to head on over to Heather Chauvin, spelled C-H-A-U-V-I-N dot com forward slash alive. The Alive 2020 experience is happening in Detroit, Michigan, February 6th and or 7th. Our VIP second day tickets are almost sold out. So don't wait. It's an intimate experience for ambitious women who are ready. Are you ready for this? To feel alive while they're still living. So if you want to create more capacity, if you want to start getting out of your own way, if you want to take bigger risks and you think you're ready for the alive experience, then head on over to heatherchauvin.com forward slash alive. And if you still have questions, go to that page at the bottom. There's a little intake form. You can put your name, your email address, and ask your question. It goes directly to my inbox, and I will respond personally. You are not alone. But in order to create the life that you want, whether it's at home or at work, you, you need to decide to take back control and take that risk and get outside your comfort zone. I look forward to seeing you there. HeatherChauvin.com forward slash alive. So my Friday reflect and review is that shit will never go the way as planned. And the also interesting part about this, which I don't even think I mentioned yet, on our way to Arizona when we were flying down here, our flight um, had to do an emergency landing because somebody died on our actual flight. I had a heart attack and they were doing CPR for 30 minutes. Um, So when I say died, it definitely wasn't looking good for this individual. They were out of it for 30 minutes. So do I have evidence that they are gone? I do not. But it was immediate, jumping into 2020, January 1st, here we are on this flight. I'm like, okay, is this what 2020 is going to be all about? And then when, you know, the thing happened with our dog, really sudden. He was three years old and it wasn't, um, he didn't have any pre-existing health conditions. Um, it was, it was his heart and then they assumed it was meningitis. Um, and it just went really, really quick. So here's the thing guys, I'm reflecting on my last week and I'm like, okay, I get you universe. This is it. The lesson that I'm being reminded again and again and again is that we have one precious life and our time is limited and we do not get to choose when our time is up. Yes, we can be proactive with our health. Yes, we can, you know, live, you know, like not taking too big of risks or whatever you want to say. Um, I mean, I'm contradicting that idea. But the point of what I'm trying to say is that our time is limited. And the more and more I have relationship to death and see people who um, have experienced death um, or people who have experienced great trauma in their lives, there's always one unique thing that, that them and I typically have in common, and it's gratitude for life. And there's this sweetness, this sweet moment where you can find, you can be grieving, you can be sad, but you can also find joy in the moment. And so the kids and I, my husband, we've been having moments, right? Moments of sadness where we miss Oliver, but then moments where we're just so grateful to be together. And this is the sweetness of life. So even though the past week hasn't been everything as planned and expected, um, it is good. It is amazing because we are alive. And one other comment I want to make about this, this whole situation, is this is why I do what I do. And I don't mean professionally. I mean every single day. This is why I take care of my body. This is why I use mindfulness in my life, meditation, visualization, journaling. This is why managing my energy, my mental energy, my physical energy, my emotional energy, this is why it is my number one priority. 
because life is going to throw you curveballs and your resilience depends on what you have put in your cup before that moment even happens. So sometimes things happen to people and they immediately go into crisis mode because they are living in survival mode. So when you're living in a place where your cup is full or running over and things happen, yes, a lot gets tipped out, but your life does not crumble. And so on a daily basis, you're wondering, why am I doing this shit? Is anyone going to notice? Is it even making an impact? Just know you keep putting that energy in your bank account and one day you will need it. One day you will need it or somebody else will need to borrow it from you and you will say, yes, I have enough. I can give, give, give. So I want to know, what did you take away from this week's Friday Reflect? Head on over to Instagram at mom is in control and send me a DM and let me know or take a screenshot, better yet, take a screenshot of you listening to it. Talk about it on your own Instagram and please tag me. Change happens when we are helping other people and we are taking action and inspiring others by becoming our best selves. According to a study published on Fast Company, conducted at the University of Kansas, women are burning out at an alarming rate, even before having children. And that number rises with the additional responsibility of raising a family. And the gap between ambition and putting themselves in a position for promotion isn't going anywhere. Why, you ask? The world needs more empowered mothers. Women who are willing to unlearn everything that they've been taught. Women who are courageous enough to feel good and not feel guilty for it. I am living proof that you can feel alive, energized, peaceful, and put yourself on your own damn to-do list and make an even bigger impact in your children's lives and those around you. I want to show you how to think, how to act, how to behave so you can step into that version of you that has been screaming for your attention. And the best part is, all you have to do is take the next step and invest two minutes of your time and book a complimentary call with someone on my team to see if my community and coaching is the right fit for your big vision. The relationships you desire, the money, time, and energy that you know deep down you are capable of creating. So head on over to heatherchauvin.com forward slash let's talk. That's Heather Chauvin, C-H-A-U-V-I-N.com forward slash let's talk. L-E-T-S-T-A-L-K. And take the next step in the right direction. You are here because you were born to make a difference. Taking a stand for how you feel means you are taking a stand for how your children show up as adults. You've got this. Let's go.